So today, Tandy computerized chest. This is actually a uh, Sysis machine. With the, uh, this is a pretty common single chip that they use in it. Uh, four kilobytes of ROM. The um, apparently written by a Dane called Carter Danielson. So um, quite a few, two hundred thousand or something of, of this was sold apparently in various sizes and well Tandy Tandy machine. So not sure if it works. I've um, Basically, it was, it's from the 80s, so it was all just red LEDs. So I have removed all the red LEDs to make it modern, in inverted commas. So I've got blue to indicate positions. And then I've added in uh, another a blue, a yellow, and a green for the white, black, second function, check and mate. So... I've also just replaced the uh, ceramic, there were a couple of ceramic capacitors, I'll replace them. Um, new wires, takes four and a half volts. The buzzer, the buzzer Ooh, goes there. So I'll put it in, solder the buzzer on, put it together and um, See if it works. So this is the uh, the ribbon flex. Ribbon flex just goes in there. And which way around is it? Oh, it's upside down. Oh, that must be that's so uh, that's underneath. So that must be um, reset. ACL. Not sure what ACL stands for. Must be the reset. Anyway, so I'll put it back together and see if it works. Okay, seems to work. All right. We can set the level. See as we get all the LEDs lit. There is a bit of flickering. It's not just the uh, it's not just the camera. You can see it. See it in real life. So. Level, choose whether you're white or black. All right, I'll try that new game. Okay. Or is that the opponent is white or black? Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. That's where you wanted to go. Sorry. Apologies. My turn. Okay. Black will do. Which one? Can't really tell. The only problem is you know, some of these are a bit too, a little bit too recessed. So I'm gonna have to do them again. So I'm not sure which one you're doing. No. Might have to read the instructions. No. Oh, okay, so it was the night, okay. So yeah, okay. So that one's probably a little bit too recessed. I couldn't really tell. Okay, so my turn. Thinking about it. Oh, okay, yeah, this one's much brighter. So you want your queen to move to there. Okay. Mm-hmm. You see, I'm not thinking at all. I'm not thinking at all here. 
Uh, oh, that's what you get when you. Oh no, you're right. It's all right when you're playing through a. You're playing through a screen. Knight to. Oh no, that was one of what I picked up. Oh, bishop. Okay, so yeah, first attempt. Yeah, I'm not too happy. I might have to redo the LEDs. I don't know if they should be. I guess they should be not sticking up so much. Yeah. But it's working. So at least I didn't completely screw it up. There we go. So it's been a while. Um, no idea what I did in my last videos, but the reason for the delay is I was waiting on this. So this is a book that um, Kare wrote for uh, Borland for Turbo Pascal, Turbo Gameworks. Um, so it comes with examples for Turbo Chess, Turbo Bridge, and Turbo Ga Gomoki, Japanese game. So well, it'll be interesting to get this and, and have a read through it. So it actually comes with, well, this one didn't come with, but um, probably get it on the internet somewhere, um, the, the source code on disks. Um, obviously, this isn't what he's implemented in, in this, in the 4K ROM. Um, because as Pascal, that'd be written in assembler, I assume. But um, no doubt he's used the same or similar uh, techniques for for this as what he's used in in this one there. So I thought that would be good to to go along with that. There we go. So I think that is enough for this one. Uh, thanks for now. <laughs>